Eileen, I know that the arm sticking out of my head looks weird. The what? Uh, the arm sticking out of my head. Uh, I know it looks weird, uh, but... There's it... no arm sticking out of your head. Ray, are you going nuts on me? Are you dropping insanity balls on the floor? No, I... Oh, I don't think so. You really can't see it? Sweetie, why don't you go see my shrink? Dr. Egglesworth helped me a lot. I'm not afraid of grapes anymore, see? Ah, jeez. Maybe I am crazy. I guess it wouldn't hurt to see Dr. Egglesworth. I believe his office is over here, uh, to the right. Ah, that's him! He's the one who took your secret thingamabob! I know because he has a stupid haircut! I don't forget a haircut that dumb! Agent 23 reporting in. We may have a positive on our target. Instructions. Get him! Is this real? Am I being chased by these jerks? Or am I really just going totally nuts right now? Totally nuts! When I catch Ray. I saw a haircut that dumb 15 years ago, and it made me the man I am today. Jeez, that was an incredibly dumb haircut. When I catch Ray, I'm gonna get. I know, it's just so sad. And it was so sudden, too. I mean, he was 140 years old. But we all kind of assumed he'd live forever at this point, you know? He never died before. Oh, Dr. Egglesworth, if only you hadn't taken the death of your father so hard and fallen into deep depression. I'm glad you're seeing Dr. Brom. I'm also glad I'm paid by the hour. Take as long as you need, Dr. Egglesworth. Possibly imaginary suckers. Physically modifying. Dang love it! I'm dead now. Well, that's an inconvenience for me, but it's not going to shut down my practice. There's still tons of people out there who need lobotomies. Stay away from me with your lobotomies, man. Also, you're not as scary as I was expecting. I'm not scary. I'm a lobotomist. And it's the only way to cure what ails you, Sonny. A few cuts, a few slips, and you won't have a care in the world. Is it working? When has talking about your issues ever solved anything? Action speaks louder than words. And that action is cutting out brain parts! Who's the man? That's a gentleman who loves digging six foot deep holes. This is basically the perfect job for me. Except for the constant and omnipresent threat of a spooky hunting. Sure, I'll fix that up. Hey, no 
those guys are fully dressed. They're probably pretty smart. Maybe... Maybe I should mind read them. <laughs> well, I should have not stayed up all night last night eating burritos. And yet I have no regrets about staying up all night eating burritos. Oh, man. What happens if I put this sticker on an agent? <laughs> Sweet! This sticker makes them sleepy. Oh, I probably don't have too long until they wake up. Oh, this is heavy. I've got to get to that psychiatrist stat. Uh, excuse me, uh, doctor? Um, doctors? Dr. Brom, I can't go back to work. I just can't. Dad hated how I practiced my profession, and now that he's gone, we'll never reconcile. There's no closure left for me. I'll never be able to talk to him again. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Sad, I guess. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? The sadness? No, um, like, not happy? Like I have emotions that are making me depressed. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Wait, how does that make you feel? Fine, thank you, but we're here to discuss you. Dang, I gotta help Dr. Egglesworth so that he can help me. I gotta cure his depression stat. If only I could talk to my dad one more time. Get him to understand why I do what I do. I just need one last chat with him. Man, I don't need a psychiatrist. I need a medium. Or at least a necromancer. Wait, necromancers don't really exist, do they? No, uh, I think they're all frauds. Okay, medium it is. Wow, did work get a lot easier when I realized I could ask. And how does that make you feel? To every question. Yes. I have made contact with the spirit of your dear departed wife. I haven't departed anywhere. I can't move in the afterlife because my husband cut off my legs. Jada! Is she here? Can you ask her if she's mad that I cut off her legs? She's saying that she is, um, slightly frustrated by the circumstances. If I could touch him, I'd tear his legs off too! Yeah, definitely sensing some frustration. Nice job. Right? That's why I do my like I can't walk into the light or anywhere else for that matter. Either someone needs to find me some legs, or someone needs to kill a wheelchair and send its ghost over my way. For some reason? How amazing it is that ghosts really do exist. And how incredible that they all want to talk with my paying customers. At least this ghost knows a language. I'm so tired of being bothered by cavemen ghosts from thousands of years ago. After I apologize for cutting off her legs, I should ask her if she knows where I put my rabbit. I haven't seen him for weeks. And rabbits don't just disappear. Oh, wait, no. I made him disappear and then couldn't get him back. Okay, yeah, note to self. Stop by pet store on the way home. Balloons for sale. Balloons for sale. I've taken some of our planet's finite helium supply and put it inside a leaky disposable balloon. You should buy it. I like shapes and colors. Especially when those shapes are inflated. Sometimes I wonder if this is really what I was put on this earth to do. Sometimes I get sad. I've taken some of our planet's finite helium supply and put it inside a. 
All right, round 37. Whoever has the shortest legs gets punched again. Ready, Gigator? Ready, Colossus? Ready, little champ? What? No, no! One, two, three, go! Wait, no, wait, no! Oh my gosh, are they? Hey, Jace! Jace! They're about to pull off the rally scene, trampoline, trimmings, maneuver! Ladies and gentlemen, this trick is very difficult to pull off. Let's watch. A complete success and a very painful landing for little champ. Ha! Poetry in motion. Normally people say bully like it's a bad thing, but have they tried it? It rules! <laughs> Punches make me feel good! Normally people say... If my legs were longer, I wouldn't get punched! I could run away to freedom! I could follow my dreams of being in library school instead of this degrading show. Ah, Jace, the greatest show on earth. As long as you don't let yourself feel empathetic for the little guy. Excuse me. Oh, yes, hello. Well, take a good look. Here I am, the bearded lady. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't that mess with your ideas of gender and beauty? I... I guess? Well, soak it up, because there's no reapers. Easiest job in the world. It's amazing what a little super glue, a shaved dog, and a lot of patience can do. Once you hit the bottom, jump, dang it! Dad, I don't want to fall to uh, death. Please stop hitting my hands. Next time, I'm not bringing the inflatable hammer. Ah, 
Ah, oh, man, I knew I was going to die today. The fortune cookie was right. Also, that was an extremely creepy fortune cookie. I should have had a daughter instead. A daughter who isn't afraid of heights. And who is a scientist, and a rock star, and a clown. Also, she buys me things. Jump. Jump right now. Come on, we're not that high up. What? What's happening? Help me, son! Dad, uh, I can't. If I uh, let go, I'll die. Help me, please! Dad, I'll die! I confess I cannot see the attraction to being fired out of a cannon, but I do see the attraction of being responsible for the safety of those who do choose this path. I like it when the cannon makes the fire come out and I'm inside the explosion. Someone- oh, That was awesome! Uh, I think... He solved my physics. Yeah, guys. Oh great, now I'm gonna die and my dad is a balloon! That second fortune cookie I got was also right! I need to stop eating at Crazy Jack's crazy but insanely accurate fortune cookie restaurant. Oh. Uh, what are we aiming at? How come we're not hitting the usual wall? scary when we're both hanging here together. This is the best trick ever! This is perfect! You're perfect! We'll never do that old trampoline trick again! This blows it out of the water! I'm so happy! I love you, son! <laughs> when I'm full of helium and floating, I feel... free. As if a great weight has been lifted from my body. I feel my stomach drop as I lift up into the sky, free floating, and I feel alive. Helium. You know, that wasn't so bad. Heights aren't so scary if you're good at hitting targets. Uh, that's gonna come out of my paycheck, I think. One more time, folks. The trampoline triplets maneuver! Put your backs into it, boys! Not a problem! Get ready to have your mind's body slammed! Not again. Wait a second! Your legs are tinier than mine! You've been faking this for years, Gigator! Library school, here I come! Oh ho ho! Our wrestling slash bullying careers! You know, if I could get on the radio, there'd be no way for the audience to know that the triplets aren't here anymore. Folks, the triplets just threw a bad guy wrestler into the moon and then punched him on the nose when he landed. I can't believe my eyes! You should know. Say, kid, there's an opening in the wrestling area. You ever give any thought to being paid to push other men around in a padded square with elastic walls? Balloons for sale! Balloons for sale! Ah! Oh, our 
Perfect. Legs out of nowhere. This will definitely be all I need in my eternal afterlife. Goodbye, sweetie. I loved you more than I love even magic itself. Which is too bad, because if I studied magic harder, you wouldn't have died. Okay, I'm glad that's done. So, handsome, how long do you think it'll be before you get back into dating? Oh, I don't know, a few... Minutes? Well, that'd be quite the trick. <laughs> My wife wouldn't want me to grieve for too long, right? She'd probably think it was way cool if I kissed on somebody I just paid money to. I think that's what she would do for sure. It's against my professional code to flirt with patrons, but something about him is just magic. And how does that make you feel? I've pulled back the veil between our world and the next one! What? Huh? Are there any spirits with which you would like to speak? Dad, I want to talk to my dad. He looks a little like me, only he's super old. Ghost of the skies, old dad, I command you here! What? Who called me? Dad, it's me. I... I... just wanted to talk to you. To make peace about how you love lobotomies, and I love treating people without cutting into their skulls. Son, I... I... I have a mind to lobotomize you right here! You've been losing this argument for years, and now even when I'm dead, you drag me back so you can get one last word in? Of all the selfish, self-interested, totally deserving of a lobotomy actions to do! Man, I really should... uh, this is totally nuts! I'm not even sure how this is happening! My rationalist, scientific worldview is crumbling! <laughs> Dang it, Dad, why do you have to be so mean all the time? It's your angry mouth that holds you back. I wish we could just talk without having to go through a mouth that wasn't so mad all the time. If there's a problem that can't be solved by physically modifying someone's brain, I haven't found it yet. I should have cut out his brain when I had the chance. And another thing, son. I... I love you. Even though we have different approaches, we're both on the same team. Just don't want to see people be sad. You're doing good, son. And I'm proud of you. You know that, right? I do now, Dad. That's my cue. You be good, boy. Hooray! At last! An emotional breakthrough! Closure. Huh? What? What happened? What did I miss? I talked to my dad. He's a ghost, and we talked, and we worked things out. I can go back to work now. Thank you. <laughs> what? Ghosts? Oh, that's crazy talk. You're crazy. What? No, I'm not crazy. He was a vision from beyond the grave. I'm not crazy. Next. I... I guess that's me. Excellent, excellent. Uh, sit down here. And tell me all about how whatever your issue is makes you feel. Oh, well, I've, I've got this giant spaghetti arm that comes out of my head. And only I can see it. Oh, but it, but it lets me read people's minds. Telepathy, huh? <laughs> Definitely sounds crazy. Ooh, but before I give you my diagnosis, uh, uh, there's one thing I'd like to try. Follow the pendulum. You are getting sleepy. You are about to tell me all your secrets. So...